A very good morning friends today we will discuss about a cholesterol coming to the some chemistry part of cholesterol it is a derived lipid derived lipid it is a 27 carbon compound it has hydroxyl group at the third position and there is double bond between carbon fifth and sixth so it is a animal sterol or animal steroid the, it has number of functions in our body the important one are it is a precursor for bile acids vitamin D and steroid hormones it is required for the uh, transport across the plasma membrane it is a component of plasma membrane so these are the important functions of cholesterol in our body it contain cyclopentanoperhydrophenantherin ring or nucleus these are the cyclohexane rings a b c and this one is the cyclopentane ring so this is all about the chemistry part of part of cholesterol now coming to the cholesterol biosynthesis the first we'll discuss the sites for the cholesterol biosynthesis the synthesis of cholesterol occurs in almost all nucleated cells of the body especially it occurs in the liver intestine adrenal cortex then this is a cytosolic pathway and some important steps in the cholesterol biosynthesis that occurs in the endoplasmic reticulum endoplasmic reticulum especially the steps step catalyzed by the hmg coa reductase which is a committed and rate limiting step in the cholesterol biosynthesis now there are five important steps in the cholesterol biosynthesis the first one is the synthesis of hydroxymethylglutaryl coenzyme a second formation of mevalonate then third conversion of this mevalonate into isopentenyl pyrophosphate then fourth this formation of squalene which is a 30 carbon compound and last one is the conversion of squalene into cholesterol so these are the five important steps in the synthesis of cholesterol now coming to the pathway proper so the starting material for cholesterol synthesis is acetyl coenzyme a and it also requires nadph and atp so NADPH which is required for the cholesterol biosynthesis it is obtained from HMP shunt it provides near about 60% of the NADPH which is required for the cholesterol biosynthesis now it is started with the two molecule of acetyl coenzyme A this two molecule of acetyl coenzyme A condenses in presence of the enzyme thiolase and there is formation of aceto acetyl coenzyme A. So this is catalyzed by the thiolase. Then again one molecule of acetyl coenzyme A condenses to give a beta hydroxy methyl glutaryl coa that is HMG coenzyme A. This is with the help of enzyme that is HMG coenzyme A synthase. So this is the thiolase, this is HMG coa synthase. In this reaction, there is liberation of coenzyme A. So this is the first step in the cholesterol synthesis that is synthesis of hydroxymethylglutaryl coenzyme A. Now the rate limiting step 
the main step in the cholesterol biosynthesis which is catalyzed by the hmg coenzyme a reductase and as it is a reductase reaction it requires nadph so in this reaction nadph it is utilized and it is converted into nadp so by this reaction this hmg coenzyme a it is converted into mevalonate so this is the second step in the cholesterol synthesis that is synthesis of mevalonate now this mevalonate undergoes three kinase reaction it undergoes phosphorylation and it is converted into phyo prime phosphomevalonate the atp is required for this reaction this reaction is catalyzed by the kinase there are three successive phosphorylation reactions in which mevalonate is converted into phyo prime phosphomevalonate which is converted into phyo prime pyrophosphomevalonate and this phyo prime pyrophosphomevalonate it is converted into 3 phospho phyo pyrophospho mevalonate so atp is required atp is required here and it is catalyzed by the kinase now by the decarboxylation reaction by the decarboxylase it is converted into it is converted into isopentenyl isopentenyl pyrophosphate so this reaction it is catalyzed by the decarboxylase there is synthesis of five carbon unit that is isopentenyl pyrophosphate this is isomerized into by the isomerase it is converted into dimethyl allyl pyrophosphate which is again a five carbon unit this is isomerase isomerization reaction it is converted into dimethyl allyl pyrophosphate now there is condensation reaction occurs by which this dimethyl allyl pyrophosphate it is converted it is condenses with isopentenyl pyrophosphate which is five carbon compound and it is converted into geranyl pyrophosphate which is a 10 carbon compound now this geranyl pyrophosphate it is condenses with isopentenyl pyrophosphate and it gives farnesyl pyrophosphate this farnesyl pyrophosphate it is important in the synthesis of dolicol and it is also important uh, in the prenylation of the protein that is the post translational modification of protein which helps in the protein targeting so it has important role in the dolicol synthesis and also it helps in the prenylation reaction so this farnesyl pyrophosphate this this reaction is 3 phospho 5 pyrophosphomevalonate now this farnesyl pyrophosphate which is a 15 carbon compound condenses with another molecule of farnesyl pyrophosphate and gives squalene this is a 30 carbon compound and this is with the help of enzyme squalene synthase so this is squalene synthase and in this reaction nadph is required now this 30 carbon squalene it is converted into lanosterol lanosterol which is converted into cholesterol so all these three reaction that is uh, uh, squalene synthase then this epoxide epoxidase cyclase these all reactions they requires nadph so nadph is required here it also requires o2 in this reaction nadph is required also requires o2 there is release of one carbon unit that is 
देर इज रिलीज ऑफ वन कार्बन यूनिट देर इज रिलीज ऑफ टू कार्बन डाइऑक्साइड एंड कन्वर्शन ऑफ दीज थर्टी कार्बन कंपाउंड इन टू ट्वेंटी सेवन कार्बन कंपाउंड ऑकॉस सो दीज आर दाइव स्टेप इन द कोलेस्ट्रॉल सिंथेसिस फर्स्ट इज द सिंथेसिस ऑफ एच एम जी कोए सेकंड स्टेप इज कन्वर्शन ऑफ एच एम जी कोए इन टू मेवेलोनेट देन फॉस्फोराइलेशन ऑफ मेवेलोनेट एंड डिकार्बोक्सिलेशन इट इज कन्वर्टेड इन टू आइसोपेंटेनिल पायरोफॉस्पेट then condensation reaction in which this isopentanyl pyrophosphate it is converted into farnesyl pyrophosphate which on condensation gives the squalene that is 30 carbon compound by the squalene synthase and by the nadph and o2 dependent reaction this squalene through the various steps it is converted into cholesterol that is a 27 carbon compound now coming to the regulation the main regulation or main regulatory enzyme of this pathway is the hmg coa reductase this is a rate limiting step and also it is a committed step in this pathway so this is both rate limiting and committed step it is rate limiting because it decided the it decides the rate of cholesterol synthesis and second it is a committed step this pathway up to this point it is common in the ketogenesis but after the formation of mevalonate there is synthesis of cholesterol so it is unique step in this pathway so it is committed and rate limiting reaction now it is regulated by two states that is dephosphorylated and phosphorylated state this enzyme it is active in the dephosphorylated state which is with the help of two main hormones that is insulin insulin maintains the dephosphorylated state and thyroxine insulin and thyroxine maintain the dephosphorylated state and may, uh, activates the hmg coa reductase while glucagon inhibits the hmg coa reductase it inhibits insulin activates so two states that is dephosphorylated and phosphorylated state that is the another name is covalent modification of enzyme these are the two hormones which are required for the regulation then second important point is it is controlled by the feedback regulation so feedback regulation it is important in feedback regulation this cholesterol this cholesterol decreases the hmg coa reductase synthesis by inhibiting the transcription process so this is at the genetic level the feedback regulation it is at the genetic level there is decrease in the transcription of the gene which is required for the synthesis of hmg coa reductase so this is important in the regulation so it is by the covalent modification of enzyme with the help of two hormones in the dephosphorylated state it is active phosphorylated state it is inactive insulin favors the dephosphorylated state and second by the feedback regulation by uh, at the genetic level it decreases the transcription of the gene which is responsible for synthesis of hmg coenzyme a reductase and dietary cholesterol it has minimal role dietary cholesterol it has minimal role in the inhibition of uh, cholesterol uh, synthesis okay so these are the three important regulatory Uh, mechanism in the cholesterol biosynthesis now coming to the degradation of cholesterol in the degradation of cholesterol it is precursor for three important compounds that is bile acid then steroid hormone and vitamin d in the cholesterol degradation it acts as a precursor for three important compounds three important compounds the first one is the bile acid second one is the vitamin d and third one is the steroid hormone 